I want to show you the newest Google tool that I am absolutely in love with. Um, I have recently discovered Google Keep and right now you're going to see that I'm in my Google Chrome browser and I have it as an extension and in order to get it you go to uh, the three little dots and when you're logged into your Google Chrome you go to more tools and you're going to go to extensions and you're going to look up Google Keep and you're going to add it on. Once you have it added on um, I have it as a little shortcut up here. If I right click when I'm on my little light bulb, I go to keep. This is the screen that I pull up. And what it allows me to do is either take notes, um, I can add a list, I can do a note with an image, um, and I can also do a drawing. So this is what's really cool is you have a lot of choices. Um, it is also an app for your iPad, and I'm going to show you right here, or an iPhone. So you can start to have lists between your devices. So if you have it installed on the other ones as an app, as long as you're logged into your account, it will sync and you can share things. So let me just show you. If Let's say this is a link that I wanted to save. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to copy this. Make sure copied it right there we go I go to Google keep if I just simply paste that in there um, and then I will go ahead and title this Google keep app and then I click on done it creates it as that little note that I just had there and the fantastic thing is now if I'm on my iPad or if I need it reference it I can just get into my Google keep and simply pull that up now, I want to show you something else that is really awesome. If I'm on, like, let's say a Google Doc, I can go to Tools, and I can open up the Keep Notepad. And then, let's say I was making my list for my yearbook students. I need to share it with them in a Google Doc, which I use Google Classroom, and this would work great. If I go over here, I see all the notes, and right here's my yearbook list of things to do. I click on Add to Document. I now just added that list so now I can share it with my students. Um, I see this as a tremendous tool for teachers to start streamlining things and making your list and your notes, sharing it between, you know, different things. I also see it for students. This would be a great research tool. Now the only downside at the current moment for the iPads, um, you can't do this specific little trick like the docs trick on the iPad. I'm sure it's going to come in the future, but at the moment, not. But they can still do the Google Keep app to maybe store some of their research information. So hopefully, Google Keep will save you a lot of time, and it's just fun, just like it has for me. Have a great day.